Max, you can you can get that for just a couple bucks, right? You head yeah. over to the website. But what I like if you have a like I don't know, like nine thousand dollars that you want to spend on oh, something? Oh man. Um so if you got nine thousand dollars, I got great news because um you can finally buy a laptop. Thank God. Yeah. I mean, if you're one of those people who just hates getting change back on stuff, or you really, you gotta spend exactly $9,000. Uh, Acer has uh, revealed this uh, Predator 21X gaming laptop, which, you know, you look at it, you're like, all right, this looks like a pretty, pretty cool laptop, I guess. Um, well, here's the thing. There's a lot going on here. This has two GeForce GTX 1080X linked with NVIDIA's SLI tech. So basically it has, Two graphics cards that are hanging out together. Wow. Uh, it has a 7th generation Intel Core K-series processor. I don't know what a lot of this means, but I do know that up to 4 terabytes of uh, SSD storage is like, that's a lot of terabytes. That's mm -hmm. a lot of space. Uh, and also it does something where I think it, it uses some processing stuff to make the terabytes go faster in the SSD. Uh, if that wasn't enough, it also has built-in eye tracking through oh, this thing called that, Toby. Is that the panel at the top up there? I think this is a webcam, but it probably tracks your eyes too. So if you know, if you not only want people to watch you, but also to watch you and make eye contact, there's that. Uh, and then there's a mechanical keyboard with customizable backlight options, a numeric keypad that flips over, and you can turn it into a touchpad. There are four speakers and two subwoofers, five cooling fans, and this thing weighs 17.6 pounds. Oh my god! And I'm like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, you know, maybe that's it's kind of looks like a nice laptop, whatever. Uh, it's a big boat. Also, that is a beast. Forgot to mention this part. It's I think the first gaming laptop with a curved display. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, which is it's a, it's got that that curve curvature thing going on and um yeah. So, I mean, if you for whatever reason have $9,000 and you're on the go enough that you need a gaming rig with you, but not on the go enough that it needs to not weigh 17 pounds. Uh -huh. There you go. See, I could see like uh, like a pro esports gamer getting one of these just to be able to bring it anywhere, play at the airport, play at the train station, and stuff like that. But yeah. I think it's like we're we're finally getting to the point where people are like, I want a really beastly PC, but I don't want to lug it with me everywhere. Yeah. Like I had the, we just had the holiday break, right? I had that thing where I was like, I should throw my PS4 in my backpack, bring it home, uh, get to play it for a little while. Ultimately, I chose against it, I guess, because I'm not a hardcore gamer. Fire me. But uh, people nowadays want to take that stuff everywhere, so I guess it makes sense. What's the biggest laptop you've ever had? Because I oh had a God. Sony Vio that had a 17-inch screen. I've never had a 17-inch like monitor. Uh, I had a, I think it was a 15-inch, but it was like a like a lower-end Dell. Mm -hmm. So it was like, I don't know, like that thick. Yeah. And it was, was heavy. It was, it was definitely heavy. Like it was, I got it, I was like, got it, it was like a graduation thing. And I was like, I'm gonna bring this to college. And I was like, Oh, this is too heavy. I should be, I should go to community college instead. Yep. College is too far to take this away. Yeah, I have like a, you know, what is this? Like a 13-inch MacBook Air yeah. now. It weighs like a pound and a half, and you can chuck it in your bag. But I used to go to E3 with like this 17-inch Sony Vio, and I open it up, and people would be like, what are you doing? You gotta like, watch, you, watch the movies there? Hey, what do you have that for? Yeah, that's you nuts. Know?